Good morning, guys. I know I look tired. It's because I am. Okay. Having a newborn. <laughs> they couldn't prepare you for this. But yeah. So my sister, she might be leaving today. Where are my sunglasses? I think she's going home today. And she's been here over a month. So I really appreciate her so much. She's been helping out like so much. And she's about to get real, okay? Definitely going to be uh, different. Definitely going to be different. Let's get the going. <laughs> Just a quick pickup. Uh, you see Bogey driving like it's the end of the world, honey. So yesterday was the 4th of July. I don't really like celebrate that. Um, just because I don't. <laughs> like I used to like go see the fireworks and all that other stuff. But now I just watch it from my um, balcony because they be out there popping the fireworks back there. So why would I go somewhere, especially with a newborn, and go see some fireworks when it's right? I got the best view. Speaking of going somewhere with newborns, so this past weekend, we went to visit Will's parents and his um, family, some of his family came over to the house and traveling with a newborn when he first mentioned it i was just like mm, i don't know if that's a good idea because she's only three weeks almost four weeks but i get it you know we want her to meet the grandparents so i'm like okay but we both agreed like traveling with a newborn did so did because we had to we didn't even get to enjoy the time at all because it was all about like i mean it's a newborn what do you expect you know what i'm saying so we agreed let me get this situated i need to get a, a holder for my camera but we agreed that mm, nah we straight so that was that it was i mean it was good for them to see her but yeah, bro, that was, that was, that was a lot. It was a lot, okay? This is the earliest I've ever been to Target. It's 8 o'clock. I woke up at 6. I don't even know what time I went to bed. Mm, because she was, like, really fussy. She was fighting her sleep and um, wanting to be held, of course, as all newborns want. Um, but she is just, she's a character. When I tell y'all Gigi is a character, she's definitely one. That's dead on it. So I think they're here with my order. Perfect. So, yeah. Give me a minute, y'all. Give me a minute. Hello. Good of you. Oh, I'll take it. Thank you. Thanks. You too. So, we got all the things that we ordered. Oh, these are the big Ziploc bags. Let me let me make sure. Ooh, I saw, I just need these to store like the breast milk. Let me see what it's looking like. Oh no, this is perfect. Okay, cool. Okay. We got her some milk. Let me, let's just do a formula talk real quick. So, originally at the hospital, they had this brand of Similac right here. They had this in the hospital for her to drink because I wasn't producing milk like that um, at the beginning. So I did not want to give it to her just because I'm not like for the formulas. Um, I'm more about, you know, what we produce. Our body makes this milk and 
creates this milk for our babies. So this is definitely hands down the best option in my eyes. But I do understand things happen. You know, breastfeeding doesn't always go as planned, blah, blah, blah. So I did have a backup plan. So I tried the Bobby formula. Basically, she didn't react too well to it. It was, I'm assuming, too strong for her. It's an organic formula, whatever. So she didn't, that was not working. So I took her off of that and put her back on breast milk. Now, my daughter is like going through milk like nobody's business, okay? Let's let's put that out there. As soon as I pump, like it was some days where I would be able to, you know, collect a lot of bottles and then we would have a plethora of milk to give to her, but it didn't last very long because she was going through so many bottles and I think per session, I was pumping like between two to three. Now I'm pumping between like four to six. But um, at the time, mm, sis was drinking two to four-ish ounces. And yeah, so that didn't work. So now my mom was like, okay, well, how about, I know you don't want to do this, but just hear me out. Put her back on the Similac formula that she was having at the hospital. Because we know that she, you know, didn't have any issues with that. And then just pump, you know, continuously pump and then freeze your milk, which I was going to freeze anyway, but I was just trying to wait until I made like a lot, um, and then freeze it and just keep freezing it and stacking it up, stacking it up. In the meantime, give her this Similac, the little ready, um, to use bottles. And then once you have a lot of breast milk, um, stored away, then you can switch her back to breast milk. And then in the meantime, obviously we have all of this um, storage that I've been pumping for, you know, weeks to um, prior weeks. And then I'm still going to be pumping. So we'll have more than enough. So, you know, I was like, that does sound like a good idea. I just was not, I'm not really for formula. But at this point, I don't want my baby to starve. So I say that to say I went and got this again um i got this obviously where we are now so we're gonna do that and i got these storage bags to put the breast milk bags stack them in this so i can create more space in the freezer oh the other thing i got is just for me um so coconut milk i mean coconut water is said to be really good for milk production so the only way I can drink coconut water, I can drink it by itself, but I just like a little bit of taste in it. Um, so I add this white cran peach in it. It's just a little pour. Um, so I just got that for myself. So right now I am about to run in Target because I have some, the outfits that my sister bought for her were too big. We are going to go exchange them for something that she can actually fit. And then, um, I'll be back. So, I'm probably not going to film that. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But, yeah. So, I'm going to run in. I uh, will see y'all a little later. All right, guys. Really quick. Well, I'm going to try to make this really quick. So, there's some more stuff that I want to show you guys that we got. The outfits that I showed you guys yesterday, the outfits that I showed you guys yesterday that my sister got, they were newborn, but they were too big for her. Um, so we went, well, I went back while she watched Gianna before she left, but we're going to get into that. I went back to Target to exchange them. So this is what we got. We now have this little blue and white flowery dress. this little jumper for her which i really liked um so i actually just bought this one because it was a little bit more than um what we exchanged it for so i just bought this but this one is so cute 
I like that. And then we got these little blue, I mean, not blue, these little pink shorts that are so adorable. And I think she could fit these because these look a little bit more smaller than the other ones that we have. And the cutest pair are these. And I think I'm going to let her wear these for her little one month photo that I'm going to take. So that's what we got from Target and my sister. Thanks again, sis. You're the best TG ever, okay? I'm going to take this stuff off the hanger just because we're going to wash it. But yeah, while I'm doing that, my sister went home. She went home earlier today. Uh, I think she left around 9 this morning. It's basically 6 p.m. So, yeah. I've been here all by myself with Gianna. But she's been pretty good, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Just because having help, going from having help during the daytime versus not having help during the daytime. Um, I thought it was going to be a huge difference, but it really wasn't that bad. All right, so that's that. And then we got a surprise delivery from my Aunt Andy sent these outfits for her because I got a delivery and I didn't know who it was from, but she texted me and said she bought them. So we got these little socks that are just so stinking cute. Oh my God. Then we got this little outfit. It's like a little sweater. With a headband, which is so cute. And then look at the little pants with the bones on the side. So that's one outfit. And then we got this little cute three piece. These little shorts, how adorable, with the little tank and the headband to match. Now we also got this. I think this is like a little dress up type outfit. Um, so she got her this little, <laughs> what is that? A cupcake. A little cupcake outfit <laughs> with a little tutu and then the little pants. That is just too cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so we got her. She got her that. She also got her this little cute blue dress. I like this little dress. So we got this little one with the little bottoms to match and then we got a pack of onesies i think it's a four pack this cute pink one we got a white one a little blue no teal polka dot one and then nude got a couple more from her she went she did good with these little dresses okay so we got this little cute little dress with the i think it's a three piece oh yeah so it's a little dress and then this these little undie parts and with a little hat that is just too stinking cute and then we have this little blue dress flower dress so yeah that's what we got from my aunt annie thank you again we appreciate it thank you so much for the clothes we definitely could use you never have too many clothes right i don't know if that's true when it comes to a baby but yeah we love it we love it and then something just came to my door from my sister that i told you guys she ordered yesterday so you guys kind of already know what this is i think i told y'all that we ordered it got some more of the nano baby bottles because she loves these so just a quick update we bought several a couple of different types of bottles nano baby was my first pick but i didn't know if she was gonna like it which she does so i ordered more because i only ordered a pack of three and then i ordered we ordered another pack of three in the bigger size um i also bought um phillips advent bottles she doesn't really like those um and I think that's it. I bought the Phillips Avent um, anti cola Dang. <laughs> um, and then the natural one. So the anti cola one is, is fine. She'll, she'll drink out of that. But the other one, for some reason, the top that it comes with is a size 2. So it's a super slow flow for her. So she gets kind of irritated when she's drinking. So... Yeah, we're just going to stick with the Nano Baby Bottles, which I thought from the beginning, but, you know, I'm just never know. So, this does not look the same color as the other ones. Let me double check real quick. Oh, 
this one is a little bit darker. I don't know why, but yeah, this one's a little bit darker. So these are the, the sizes of the bottles. Five ounce, which is the one I, I bought and I started with. And then this is the other size that they have, which is a nine ounce. So it's not that big, which I like, um, but it still, you know, gives you nine ounces. So these are the new ones that we just bought. We also got a little drying mat for her bottles. I'm trying not to wake her up. So, yeah, it's just a little uh, silicone mat. Oh, I should have got the bigger one, but this will work. It's just a little silicone mat that I'm just going to lay on top of the kitchen counter um, instead of the dry towel that I have up there for her bottles to dry. So, that's pretty much it. No, that is it. That's all that we got. And then I ordered some more um, Mom Cozy breast milk bags that'll be here tomorrow. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show y'all that because I had a quick moment. I just got done pumping and she's down for a nap. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but um, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, try to film when I can nowadays. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> somewhere in between so right now it's 8 30 she was awake but i fed her and then put her back to sleep so now i'm gonna attempt to take a shower i just finished pumping i'm out of breast milk bags so i just put it in a little bottle in the refrigerator until they get delivered today and then i'll freeze it um i just have my tea for the morning mother's milk tea and i was gonna make me some oatmeal but i'm gonna try to shower first and my back is killing me. Give me another book. Come on, Mama. Yeah. Now that she's asleep, I'm going to try to get some editing done. Editing has been non existent right now. I'm not even going to, like, <laughs> I just don't be having the time to edit like I used to. But I'm still active, I still have a lot of content. I just have to find time in between to edit. So I'm going to do that right now and see how long it lasts. And then make me some iced coffee real quick. This is my baby. <laughs> because I wasn't producing enough breast milk yet. So then, um, once I did start producing breast milk, I was giving that to her, but then she became more hungry. <laughs> so I wasn't producing enough for her. So um, we tried the Bobby formula, which is an organic formula that I heard about, and it didn't agree with her. Um, she was having issues with it, colic and gas issues. So we stopped that and just went back to breast milk. But yet, the same issue was still there, um, my breast milk production. So then, 
my mom gave an idea of, hey, I know you don't want to use Similac, but since we know it's okay, well, she agrees with it, then um, let's just use that and you pump, you know, your breast milk and then freeze it and, you know, that whole thing. I already explained that to y'all. So basically, she's spitting up the Similac, which I already... I just don't like Similac. I don't like Similac. I don't like Infant Meal. I don't like any of the formulas, to be honest. Um, but I did find one that's called Kinder Meal that I heard good reviews about. So that's what I'm picking up right now from Target. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that this agrees with her. So this one is organic and um, it's made from either the UK or Europe. I can't remember. But I will obviously show y'all when I get it. But yeah, so. All right, guys, I'm back from Target. Kinder Mill Organic Formula. I originally was looking for some goat milk formula, but it's not very popular. And um, this brand is actually in the works of making some organic. I don't even know if it's organic, but it's goat milk formula. So in the meantime, we decided to try this. So I just picked it up from Target. She is um, with my mom right now. So when she comes home within a couple of hours, we'll try this out and see if she likes it. Hopefully she does. I saw this little hack on someone else's YouTube page. I can't think of who it was. So basically, you know, instead of in the middle of the night or whenever she's like super hungry and you don't have time to like actually heat up a bottle. Someone said just to put water into her water bottle and just let it sit out so it can be room temperature. So then that way when you're ready to make the bottle, all you have to do is pour from this canister and then just add the scoops in, shake it up, and then it's ready. We're gonna use this one since I already have it. Hey guys. I just bought a, uh, what is this called? Another like utility cart. The first one that I bought from Target was $40 and it's like a hard material. I don't know how to explain it. Having her in the living room and in the room and all that, instead of running back and forth, it's, oh. <laughs> is from the order it's better to have a cart in the living room and a cart in here so i just bought this little 15 dollar cart from walmart i'm not done i mean not walmart target from target and i'm not done putting together i literally just started it's literally one two and that's it so i thought that i should show y'all you know me putting together so let's uh put this here maybe yeah no yeah so we just gonna put the rest of it together it's not gonna take long So yeah, that was pretty easy. It literally took me like five minutes. I'll link it below. Y'all already know where I got it from. I got it from Target, <laughs> period. Yeah, so we're gonna use this in the living room so we can have an additional cart in there so we don't have to run between rooms to get what we need for her. I'll sh I'm not gonna set it up completely today, so I'll show y'all what it looks like once it's done. Y'all already seen the other cart. If you haven't, click the link up here. It's in one of the nesting blogs, but click the link and, and you'll see what it looks like. <laughs> Hey guys, I 
just got out of the shower. Gigi is down for her nap, so I try to hurry up and shower and do my facial routine since I have a little time that I haven't done it in a while. And I wanted to do um, a facial steaming session. I totally forgot I even had this. So that goes to show you how busy it's been. Um, but anywho, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. I kind of started on my cleansing uh, session already. Y'all already know Fenty Beauty. So let's get back into it because I'm ready for this. plugged up so we can give ourselves a facial oh a facial steam because it's definitely time it's actually beyond time so let's go get ourselves together we pampering ourselves today for just a little bit for a little minute <laughs> so guys yeah um i sat down to do my facial steam session it's right here in front of me, but Miss Gianna woke up from her nap. So that put a pause on that. <laughs> I was gonna attempt to cook dinner. Fingers crossed, okay. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Lamb, rice, and I wanted to go get some zucchini. Yeah, I have to wait until another parent is here. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna get my uh, steaming session today, we'll see. So I am about to have my little pump session and do some editing and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I do want to come back with an update on the Kinder Mill formula. So if you guys don't know what that is, this light is, mm, let me change the direction. Uh, that's a little bit better. I'm exhausted, by the way. Maybe if I just stay here. <laughs> okay, so the formula. Let me get it. The formula that we have Gianna on right now is this Kendamil Organic Formula. She has been doing really good, actually. It's been at least three days. Yeah, at least three days, and she's been taking it pretty good. It seems to like it. In the meantime, I'm pumping, 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 trying to get that breast milk stacked, and I think I'm close to 30 bags. So our goal is to get to 40, I think, and then once I hit 40, then you know we'll put her back on the breast milk, and then I'll just keep pumping, you know, as the days go, as I've always been doing. But temporarily, this is what she's having and it seems to work pretty good i even taste it and it actually doesn't taste bad yeah so right now i got me a bowl of oatmeal as my breakfast it is 11:52, late breakfast but better than nothing right Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. every time I come on the screen. Hey guys! But now, so. What am I on here for? <sighs> oh. 
Okay, let's get this done. My mother's milk just came in. I had tried one box of this before. It seemed to be working, so I just ordered some more to help with my lactation journey. And then I heard about this brand, Leg Legendary Milk. You could go get this. Pump Princess and liquid gold. I decided to go with the Pump Princess just because it says it helps increase your milk production and that is something I love. So you can put it like this. But anyway, so that's something that I need help with, okay? Actually, it's probably time to pump right now, but I'll do it after this video. We're gonna see. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. We're gonna see what this is about because I heard this helps, so. Let me open it. I want to see what it looks like. Of course, Will is watching YouTube videos. That's probably what you hear in the background. This is what the bottle looks like. Dang. Break my teeth. Alright. You have to take this with food and drink a lot of water. I read that part. <laughs> this is what the tablet looks like. I think you just take one at a time, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. There's 60 capsules, 10 day supply. What, so you take six a day? Wait a minute. Wait, this says 10 day supply, 60 capsules. So, so are we taking this six times a day? Take two capsules three times daily. Take with food and drink to thirst. Wow. Take with food and drink to thirst. Yeah, so we'll start these tomorrow because it's already 3 o'clock and yeah. Yeah, so we got these on date. You already know what this looks like, I think. I showed y'all. If I haven't, this is what this looks like. Mother's milk tea. We are trying everything to get our intake, well, our production, increase our lactation. We trying everything. Oh, yeah, my wrist, y'all, ever since, like, the end of my pregnancy, my wrist was hurting in my hands. And when I was looking it up, the only thing that was, the thing that was close to it was carpal tunnel. And I just was like, oh, maybe that's what's going on. So, I know it's not broken. I know it's not sprained because I wouldn't be able to do this. But my little bone right here keeps, like, popping in and out sometimes. And when I'm holding Gianna, yeah. So, I have this tape on to supposedly my mom said it's going to help me. But it has been helping. It doesn't hurt. But, yeah, that's what this is. And then I wear a little brace sometimes to help when it's really hurting. But, yeah, so those are the updates. Um, really well. Y'all hear him? And you on camera. I'm about to go back in here with the family. Uh, so we can finish enjoying our Sunday. So I'll see y'all. I don't know when. Tomorrow. I don't know. But I'll see y'all. Hey guys. So just really quickly. Today I had my six week checkup. Everything is normal. My stitches just need, um, they did dissolve um, and they're healed. It's just still a little bit tender there because apparently they did cut me to get my baby out. It's just still a little tender. So we're just waiting for that to heal. But everything else is good to go. Um, I'm actually about to take a shower and call it a evening but i did order my mom cozy lactation massager and i got the lavender color so that's what it came in this is what it looks like it's a really soft material so shout out to them for making it super soft oh okay so and it's heated Well, this is a really soft material. They did their thing with this. But, um, yeah, so it's heated here, which you can control, and then that's the on and off. I'm just going to charge it completely. Oh, and there's different speeds, different levels. I can't wait to put this to use. It comes with a little USB charger, 
which I'm going to charge right now. Um, and I'll probably use it in my evening pump session or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on how I feel. And then it's a little magnetic charger cord. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I want to show y'all. And it came with a little travel bag to put your massager in. So that's super cute. I think this was like $30 on Amazon. I'll link it below. I guarantee you won't regret you. Just see you will. Well.